Hello and welcome to episode 8 of this series. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Projectile. Uh, Projectile is a project interaction library for Emacs. Um, it's very useful if you work on code um, and it, it just makes opening files a lot quicker um, and kind of navigating around a project. So it basically, um, if, if you have, if you open a file in a folder that has uh, Git, Mercurial, Darks, or Bizarre repos are considered uh, projects, as well as what else we've got here. So are Lean, Maven, SBT, SCONS, Rebar, and Bundler projects. I don't really know what they are. Um, what these extra, I know what Maven is, but I don't know what these other ones are. Um, you can also add a .dot projectile file in a folder, and projectile projectile will also treat that the the, the files within that tree. As a project as well so some of the things that projectile can do uh, it can jump to a file in a project uh, it can jump to files a point in a project jump to a directory in a pro project jump to a file in a directory jump to a project buffer jump to a test um, i mean it does loads of things i've actually never used all of these things the main things that i use are jump to a file in a project and jump to a buffer in a project basically all i use and just for those things alone it's well worth it so if we open our emacsd um, tut config and we just get down to the bottom of the file, here are the settings we did before. Everything's a bit of a mess, but we'll tidy it up at some point. So to install uh, projectile, we're going to use package again, use use package. So projectile. Uh, ensure that it's installed and then for the conf configuration there are a couple of things that we want to do so the first one is we want to decide what key combination we use to invoke um, projectile so define key projectile mode map um, kbd keyboard so we want control x P, and that's a pretty standard projectile um, command. No, that's a pretty standard uh, projectile, the, the standard projectile um, key combination. So hopefully I've spelled all of that right. Uh, the other thing that we want to do, obviously, is when we start Emacs, we want projectile mode to be active. So I'll execute that. It's gone to true. So if I now press Control X P, I now get this new list of available commands. Um, and much the same way um, you you work just using normal buffers and files, projectile works the same way. So if I open up, I open up um, test project here. And I'll open up app.py. So hopefully, projectile knows that this is a project because it's a Git repo. So if I, um, so I've got another file in here that's a module. It's a subdirectory called module. So if I press Control X P F for file, I should be able to filter down yeah to module module. So I can open that. Another thing you can do is Control X P B to switch buffer and in that set in in this uh, way you only switch buffer it's only listing the buffers available in the current project um so that's fairly useful if you want to jump to a different project um you can do control x p p and then you can see i've got some projects there um so yeah i mean it's really powerful it's a really quick introduction to it it's well worth having a look at um the if we go back to our tut.l if you're using helm so i'm just using i do mode here but if you're using helm there is a package called use package helm projectile and that basically just enables you ensure it's installed config helm projectile on and what that'll do is it will use so when i was searching for buffers then or searching for files it was using i do instead it hooks into helm so it'll use helm for its um search instead so it'll come up in a in a um, completion window rather than in the mini buffer 
Um, so yeah, have a go, have a look around, give it a go, um, see if you like it. And I do want to just make clear, I am not an Emacs expert in any sense of the word. I'm still learning, and I think everyone that uses Emacs is still learning and uh, developing. Um, that being said, if, the, if I've missed anything, if you want me to cover anything, if there's uh, some package that is better than Projectile or better than any of the packages I've talked about, then let me know in a comment. Um, and yeah, if you're on YouTube and you, you like these videos, consider subscribing and liking. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you're on library, consider tipping and following. And I appreciate that as well. I think that's it for now. Um, so yeah, cheers. Bye.